Hello beautiful people on the internet this is Frog Z back with an all new video and today I'm going to be showing you how you can fix every single uh, network problem or connectivity issue in Epic Games Launcher. So make sure that you first of all subscribe, like and share and let's get started. So the first thing that you actually need to do is to make a shortcut of Epic Games Launcher. You might already have that. Simply right click on it, go to properties and apply this. So I, pro I made this, I'm making this video a second time so that's why I had it. In the target menu just go on to the last very last after this quote press a space and give a hyphen and after the hyphen type in http equals w i n i n e t vinina so this is all given below down in the description don't panic once you have done that click on apply click on okay and you're good to go one thing done one out of the way let's go with the other ones the second thing that you actually need to do is to right click again go to property i should have done that before so right here you have to go into the compatibility menu and here make sure that you run this program as in uh, uh, compatibility mode for windows 8 also make sure to check that run this program as an administrator click on apply click on ok and now you're good to go make sure that you give your pc a, do not give your pc a restart just simply open up epic games launcher and also make sure that when you're do, whenever you're doing all this sort of stuff make sure that epic games launcher is already closed do not keep it open like i have done before and i already had it open and already was uh, applied these properties so it doesn't need to worry about it. but make sure that you have closed it and then you apply this property click on apply ok and then restart your epic games launch the second thing that you actually need to do is to uh change our winsock and also flush our ip uh means dns and also change our ip we're gonna do that all in a single time so let's open up cmd and go to start type in cmd make sure to run the cmd as an administrator because elevations are required once you have done that once your cmd is open type in ipconfig slash here you need to type in release ipconfig slash release press enter so internet connection is going to be gone by now like in mine because we actually released our only media which was supplying us internet so now what we're going to type in and uh, you can also use arrow keys to get that previous one before and type in ipconfig slash renew press enter wait for a while and there you go it's done so once you have done that we're also going to do two new things uh, actually three new commands we can type in netish n-e-t-s-h winsock w-i-n-s-o-c-k and reset and type in netish i-n-t i-p reset this is all given down below in the description just paste them one by one and do all the stuff once you have done that type in final command that is ipconfig con i can type that properly so ipconfig slash lush fl ush dns now you need to give your pc a restart all right so once you're done that uh, if you're giving your pc a restart welcome back and if it isn't working again there are a few things that you can do actually to fix this up again in case uh, it might already be working by now so head on and you need to download something called driver booster it might be or not be updated in mine but i'm using it uh, really later so open up driver booster we are actually updating our drivers here so in mine uh, it says already up to date because its last scan was 172 days ago you can already see it's free it doesn't take you anything if in case you want something more than you can pay for it click on scan once you're done scanning, it's going to tell you that uh, which of your drivers are already updated and which of your drivers are outdated. So in mine, like there are two and I can click on update now and that's going to do the stuff. So make sure that you do that. I will be doing them later because I really have to update them. The last thing that we can do is to change our DNS addresses and how you can do that is to head on to control panel go to network and internet go to network and sharing center which you can also go from down below here but just in case click on whatever connection type you have click on properties click on tcp ipv4 go to its properties and it might be like this in yours make sure to change it i use now google uh, dns in case you're wondering uh, I used to use OpenDNS, but now I'm using Google DNS. And the IP for that is 8888 and 8844. It's also given down below in the description. Don't panic again. So simply click on validate settings upon exit. Click OK, close and close. And you're good to go. Now it might open up troubleshooter, but you can close it. It's literally not required. So once you've done that and make sure to give your PC a restart and let's open up Epic Games Launcher and see if it's working or not. So here we are and good to go. So you already saw that that works and I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, also tell me what do you expect more from this channel. You can comment down below like what do you want more because I really uh, would love to create content for you guys. Make sure that you like, subscribe and share and thanks for watching.